short. But if you did get a chair, please take it back and bust your own chairs because we're short of staff here. So we appreciate all the help that you get. As long as I'm up here, I do want to um, acknowledge my mother whose work is in this show. And uh, Betsy did a fantastic job incorporating her work with the four colors, the four directions. All the masks that are on the flags here are masks that were done by my mother. And these are masks that travel and exhibit all without reservation. It's a huge exhibit that's been traveling in three parts, and she was in the second series uh, of ton, not painters, but uh, new artists from all over, and so I traveled to about 10 or 15 different venues around the country for about three years, and they just sent it back, so mom was like, put those in the show. I said, okay, great, I will. But uh, the banners are the banners that we've used every year at the Arts Festival, so I just brought them over and didn't give us any instructions and she incorporated them beautifully, I think, in terms of the theme of the show and the placement. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that on the masks that my mother did, all she has four daughters, and I think it's coincidental, but now that it's after the fact, she kind of makes it seem like it was intentional that we're all so, so many years apart, four years apart. And we all represent different directions based on when we were born during the year. So I was the first, and when you do those sort of prayers, you originate the prayers in the West. And the fall correlates with the West. So there I am, over there. And uh, she put our Indian names on the mast. And so then you go from um, the West to the North, which is my next sister. She's born in the winter, which is the north, and then you have the east, which represents the spring, and the white, which represents the summer. And so it was kind of amazing after we pulled all this together, and she was like, oh yeah, well I planned that, I'm sure. <laughs> but anyhow, so I just wanted to let you know that those are her masks, and she is a Bay Area artist half the, half the year, the rest of the time she's back in South Dakota, she comes from uh, New Year's until Mother's Day, so she's back on the rise and I'm playing cards with my other sisters. <laughs> but, um, oh, and she also wrote the poems that are with the masks. And so she's pretty deep. I especially like the poem that's with my mask and this one over here. Uh, the Fire That Never Dies, which is about the, uh, the uh, sweat lodge, the Amelia, which is a very beautiful and uh, then I feel like I'm surrounded by family here. Paul Owens the Saber uh, did a, a, a portrait of my grandfather. It was done about 1981. A friend of mine had to do it for my birthday. It was a surprise. And then she and I used to live together and she passed away and I never went back to the place. I kind of